Welcome to NFL Imperialism in Madden 24. Here is a map of all the teams in the NFL. First, we're going to spin a wheel to randomly determine a team. Then we'll spin an arrow to decide which way the team will attack. If the arrow points to another team, the teams must face off in a winner takes all game where the winner takes the land and steals a player from the other team. All that being said, let's get right into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's spin the wheel. Our first team is gonna be the Chicago Bears. Which way will the Bears be attacking? Looks like we're gonna go straight north. All right, the Chicago Bears are gonna take on the Green Bay Packers. All right, we're underway in Green Bay. After one, no one has scored. We did get a score from the Green Bay Packers who strike first, the Bears come back. We'll see if anyone runs away within the third. The Packers are gonna score, but the Bears are threatening. Up oh, here come the Packers the other way, but here come the Bears for the game winning drive at the end. They're gonna get it, but the Packers the other way, the Packers and they've turned it over, but now back to the Packers. They punt it, and we're going to overtime. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Are we going to tie? What happens in the event of a tie? I didn't plan for any ties. And the Green Bay Packers kick the field goal at the end to win it. Wow, what an exciting first game. I believe that the player the Packers will benefit most from is Tremaine Edmonds, who is the highest overall bear, so that's who the Packers are getting from the Bears. And now we have to take Illinois. We got to turn it green. So let's do a color overlay. Tough break for the, uh, the old Chicago Bears. And we're going to combine the border too. All right, it's time to spin the wheel again. Let's see who we got this time. And it's the Washington Redskins. Sorry, the Commanders. Which way will the Commanders be attacking? Northeast. That's going to put them... Up against the Baltimore Ravens. All right, let's see who's got what it takes to win this one. The Ravens take an early lead. The Commanders tie it. The Ravens up by seven now. Now up by 14. The Washington Commanders answer, and they answer again. They're within four, but the Ravens with a dagger. Will it do it? No, it won't. The Commanders surge back. And they've got it, and they kicked the game-winning extra point with no time left. The Commanders have pulled off the upset. Oh my goodness. Do you believe it? I think it's pretty obvious who the pick is here. Obviously, Lamar Jackson's a Washington commander now. All right, well, this should do the trick. Let's just do this, and there you go. That's close enough. Okay, I had to switch to a new wheel because uh, the other one wouldn't let me eliminate teams, which is kind of imperative. Now we're gonna get the Atlanta Falcons. Which way will the Falcons be going? They'll be going southeast, which is not really a thing, so we're just gonna have a play Jacksonville. Who will win the battle of the southeast? The Falcons take an early lead, the Jaguars answer, but the Falcons answer back quicker, and they kick another field goal, Jacksonville within three, now down by 10, now back within three, and now the Falcons take a 10 point lead, but it's back to a three point lead. The Jaguars are gonna make a push, and now the Falcons are gonna make a push, and they don't get into the end zone, and the Jaguars are gonna win it just barely. Maybe not a flashy pick, but Chris Lindstrom is an easy pick for the Falcons. And let's spin the wheel again. Let's see what team will be attacking next. It's gonna be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Which way will the Steelers be going? Southeast. They're gonna be taking on, hmm. I think they're taking on Washington. I think so. If we're going from the logo, they're taking on Washington. All right, Lamar Jackson's first game as a commander is ironically against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Doesn't look like he's doing much so far. He does lead for three. They are down by four at half. Now they're down by 11. They're falling apart. Here they come, they're coming back, but the Steelers are playing sturdy defense, and then Washington makes one last push, they tie it, we're in overtime, folks, and Washington wins it in overtime, what a comeback for Lamar Jackson. The Commanders are definitely going to pick up TJ Watt here, that's an easy pick. Pennsylvania's getting taken over by the Washington Commanders, they could be a threat now with Lamar and TJ. Alright, let's spin our wheel, let's see who we got this time, it'll be the Indianapolis Colts. And which way are the Colts going? They're going northeast. Oh, they're taking on the Detroit Lions. All right, Indy and Detroit, let's see what we got. Detroit's gonna take an early lead. The Colts are gonna come back. Richardson's gonna punch it in. Here comes Goff the other way. Richardson gets another one, he answers. Lions are up by seven, we're approaching half. They're gonna take a 10-point lead. And now the Colts must have missed a field goal. 
but they grabbed it and they grabbed the game. That was a quick fourth quarter. They ran that clock. I believe we're going to steal Amon Ra on behalf of the Colts here. We're going to go ahead and take Michigan away from the Lions and give it to the Indianapolis Colts. There you go. Here's how our map's looking so far. Still looks pretty normal. Our next spin of the wheel is going to land us on the Green Bay Packers again. Which way will the Packers be going? They'll be going northwest. They're taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Let's see if Lizzo's boys can beat the Green Bay Packers now with, uh, I don't even remember who I put on their team. Oh, Tremaine Edmonds. <laughs> uh, let's see if Tremaine can make a difference. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's making a difference in this game. It's three to three. Now, 10 to three. There we go. Oh, the Vikings are, oh, the Vikings are just punishing the Packers now. Jeez, that was a runaway. This one's a pretty easy choice for the Vikings. They're taking Jair Alexander. Unfortunately for the Green Bay fans, it is time to get colored upon by the Minnesota Vikings. Wow, look at that chunk. Who is going to be the Ohio champion? It was the Bengals in our last imperialism, but it looks like the Browns are getting an early lead. Are they going to continue? No, no, we're going to stall a little bit. Bengals tie it up. Browns take the seven point lead though into the fourth and now the Bengals get it. The Bengals are going to drive and they're going to win it. Well, unfortunate for the Browns. Obviously, we're taking Mr. Assault himself, Miles Garrett. And the state of Ohio is going to be orange for the Cincinnati Bengals. Let's color it a little bit. There you go. Hey, let's spin our wheel. Who's the next attacking team? It's gonna be the 49ers. In which direction are the 49ers going to go south, which is gonna be the good old Los Angeles Rams. Yay. All right, the first battle of California is gonna start tied at the end of the first. The Niners are gonna score early in the second though. They're gonna score again in the second. Will they score a third time? They won't, but the Rams will. It is a seven point lead and now it's a tie game. The Niners are gonna kill field goal, take a three point lead. The Rams are gonna score a touchdown. Could the Rams pull off the upset? They're up by seven. This game could be going into overtime. It is going into overtime. And the Niners are gonna come out on top just barely. I'm gonna go ahead and send over Aaron Donald so that him and Bosa can combine to form a very scary line. Unfortunately for the Rams, that is the end of their run on imperialism. It didn't last very long. It in fact did not last at all. Okay, anyway, time to spin the wheel. Let's see which team is attacking next. <laughs> all right, looks like it's gonna be the, oh, the Chiefs. And the Chiefs will be going northeast. They're going to be taking on the Vikings for all the land. All right, let's see if the Vikings can pull off the upset and take all the land and take Patrick Mahomes with them. Uh, it would not appear so. It looks like the Chiefs are going to make light work of the Vikings. Oh, but the Vikings are fighting back. Eh, no, they're not really. Eh, well, it was fun while it lasted Minnesota. Nice having you in the Imperial episode and the Chiefs are gonna win it. Well, we could give the Chiefs Jair Alexander. This is pretty easy. We're giving them Justin Jefferson instead, giving Patrick Mahomes his weapon. They, they could just have Iowa for the for the price of, uh, of Minnesota here. They're getting a buy one, get one free sort of deal. All right, there you go. The Chiefs now have the, the biggest land mass. Let's go ahead and see where our wheel is gonna take us. It's gonna take us to Philadelphia. In which way are we going with Philadelphia? We're going north. That's probably gonna pit us against the Buffalo Bills. Big matchup here. All right, big Eagles versus Bills matchup. This is, uh, this might decide who becomes the powerhouse of the Northeast. The Bills are gonna take an early lead and they're gonna get a response, not a very big one. They're gonna have a response of their own and the Bills are gonna run away with it. Jeez, Philly did not put up a fight. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop Lane Johnson to the Buffalo Bills here. All right, everyone say goodbye to the Philadelphia Eagles. Nice having you guys, but uh, go ahead and catch me in Noonga. Bye. Around and around and around it goes where it stops, no one knows. <laughs> Uh, looks like we're getting the commanders again. Which way shall the commanders go? Hmm, southwest, that's gonna put them. Oh, this one's Washington. We're just gonna give them these two states and call it a day. You know what, they can have all of them, actually. We're just gonna, we're just gonna speed this up a little bit here. 
Don't wanna, don't wanna have non-play rolls. That's boring. So Washington, you could just have all of them. So let's see if we can get an attack in here. Oh, we almost got the commanders again. That would've been hard. All right, we got the dolphins. Which way the dolphins are gonna go? The dolphins are gonna go pretty much the only way they can, and they're gonna go play the Buccaneers. All right, the Battle of Florida is commencing. Who will be in charge of Florida, not including the Falcons now? Uh, I can't imagine the Buccaneers are gonna win this game, but stranger things have happened, even in this episode. So, uh, we're off to a blazing start here. The Dolphins are actually losing, which is crazy. Oh, and now they're winning. I officially jinxed it, and yep, the Dolphins won. Well, the Dolphins don't exactly need Werfs, so we're gonna go with Vita Vea. Uh, that might be an interesting pick, but let's see. Miami has the Dolphins, the greatest football team. We take the ball from goal to goal like no one's... <laughs> <laughs> I also just realized I had the Falcons cleared here when it was supposed to be the Jaguars, so I just fixed that. Okay, now let's uh, go ahead and spin our wheel. Let's see, we're landed on the Colts. Which way are the Colts going to be going? They only really have one way to go, so... <laughs> what do you know? They're playing the... Mm. I'm going to have them play the Bengals, because I think that... Technically, this is where their territory is, so going this way would be the Bengals. Alright, let's see which of these newly acquired players is more important for the Bengals slash uh, Colts. Uh, I'm pretty sure Amon Ra and Miles Garrett were the picks. And now that my useless commentary is not doing anything and the game's almost over, and the Bengals are gonna lose. So that was uh, definitely something. <laughs> I don't know, our boy Anthony Richardson's been cooking, but I think the, the best Overall difference is with Joe Burrow becoming a Colt. All right, unfortunately, Ohio now belongs to the Indianapolis Colts. Look away, Ohio boys. I'm gonna color in a little bit just to make it look prettier. There we go. I kind of messed up the Colts logo, but that's okay. <laughs> we are down to 20 teams left. Let's see who will attack next. It's gonna be the Los Angeles Chargers. And the Chargers will be heading northwest which will put them against the 49ers to crown california all right let's see who's gonna take over california will it be aaron donald's 49ers or will it be the chargers the niners are off to an early lead but the chargers respond but the 49ers respond back and they are up by 14 at half now they're only up by seven now only four in the fourth quarter the chargers are gonna drive and they're gonna punch it in to take the lead the niners are gonna respond looks like we got a field goal at the very end and the chargers are gonna take it i think it's only right to keep aaron donald moving throughout california all right let's get california into the chargers blue what a sight to behold the chargers are on top will they take the west Let's find out. The wheel's getting smaller. Let's see who will attack this turn. It's gonna be the Broncos, just barely. Which way are the Broncos going? Of course, they're going east, which is gonna just, they could just have like all of those states. All right, I think I gave them a decent chunk of states. <laughs> Let's get some action up in here. We want teams to play each other. Looks like we're getting the Raiders, which could be the only other chunk of land that still exists. Depending on which way this arrow is going to land, and of course it goes straight to Utah. <laughs> Alright, the Raiders get the rest of these. Come on, what are the odds of that? <laughs> okay, this time someone's got to attack, right? Okay, the Chargers. The Chargers gotta play somebody. I think they only have two options. Basically, are they playing the Raiders or are they playing the Seahawks? Okay, we're count- Redo, we're respinning. That's the ocean. That's still the ocean. Try again. Oh my gosh, they're playing the... Oh, the Cardinals. I'll allow that. That's valid. Yeah, if I'm being 100% honest, I'm not even sure who the Cardinals have for the taking. So, uh, this should be easy for the Chargers to win. But, who are they going to get is the real question. Although, if the Cardinals win this game, that'd be really awkward. <laughs> It looks like they got it in the bag, unless the Chargers score right at the end, and they do. Can the Cardinals send it back? They can! The Cardinals pull off the upset! Are you kidding me? Wow! I mean, I think we gotta do it, right? <laughs> we absolutely have to. You know what, and just for the upset, they can have New Mexico, too. I'm inspired by their story. I'm really just, just so inspired by them. Hey, our map's pretty full, except for these states down here that no one cares about. Wow, I'm sorry people from New Jersey, Delaware, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and uh, Vermont. And now that I've just pissed off 8% of the United States, 
Uh, uh, next team is the Colts. Welcome back, Joe Burrow's Colts. Let's see who Joe Burrow's going to face in his debut. They're going straight southwest. They're going to take on the Colts. This is the battle of Mahomes and Burrow. I mean, you'd think it's the Pro Bowl. We got Je Justin Jefferson here, Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow. Who's going to take it? Who's going to come out on top? I think the Chiefs are the team to beat. Although the Colts are having a streak. The Colts just think they got to upset everybody. I'm kind of for it. I'm kind of rocking with the underdog Colts story. Oh, the Chiefs are driving to put an end to it, and they do. But the Colts answer, are you kidding me right now? The Colts with a huge upset. All right, we got to send Justin Jefferson over, right? I mean, Amon Ra, Burrow, and Jefferson, that's crazy. Let's see what we got. The Jacksonville Jaguars. Which way will the Jaguars be going? They're going back into Florida. They're taking on Miami for that last piece of Florida. Let's see who's going to take the battle of Florida. Jacksonville's off to an early lead. They got seven on Miami. Now they're going to get 14 on Miami going into half. And here they come again. They're up by 21. This is a blowout for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Miami's going to try to score, but it is too little too late. Nice having you, Miami. Pretty easy pick. Tyreek Hill's on his way to Jacksonville. Jacksonville is getting its revenge on me for accidentally drawing them out. Why won't it let me do white? Please help. I just want to get rid of the... Yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> All right, this is it. This is the top half of the NFL. Let's see who's going to be the first to go. Well, here are the Texans for the first time, although this guy spelled Texans wrong. Which way will we be going with the Texans? North, and that'll be the Dallas Cowboys. We're getting the Battle of Texas. All right, I think uh, Dallas is clearly the favorite here to win the Battle of Texas, but you know, you never know. I said that about uh, the last three games and they've all been upsets. So maybe the Texans are due to win. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, doesn't seem that way, but oh, here they come, coming back the other way. Dallas, if they hold to a field goal, they didn't. And they came back anyway. Are they getting the ball back? No, they're not. And the Cowboys win it. The Texans literally only have Laramie Tunzel to take from, so the Cowboys, if they don't want to replace him with Tyron Smith, they can put him somewhere else. And of course, it was nice having you, Texas, but unfortunately, uh, winners train and losers complain. I used to have a t-shirt that said that when I was like six years old. Please tell me anyone else had that shirt. <laughs> Down to our final 15. Let's see who's going out here. It's gonna be the Patriots for the first time. And which way will the Patriots be going? They're gonna be going southeast into the ocean. Do you guys wanna try again, maybe? Uh, no, you wanna go right back into the ocean. Let's try again. Into the ocean. You wanna try again? Okay, one more try. <laughs> <laughs> that's Canada. You guys are almost there. Oh, wow. They want to go west. And they still got Vermont. They're playing the Giants and they're going to like it. What a shocking matchup. Who saw this one coming? <laughs> Patriots are taking an early lead. The Giants are not going to respond. The Patriots are, though. But then the Giants do respond. Patriots up by 10 at half. Now up by 7. And this game's stalling a little bit no one's really scoring and now the patriots score two and the giants game winning drive did they score a 70 yard touchdown at the end to win it there that was crazy all right we're giving the giants our boy big matthew judon and now for your ambition you guys get vermont too just because i decided so and uh there you go there's vermont all right the next victim is gonna be the seattle seahawks for the first time today and an arrow is gonna go obviously the only direction it can and they're gonna take on the raiders all right here we are in beautiful legion stadium where the raiders are gonna take a commanding lead seahawks are gonna get one back though and looks like we're going into half raiders up by seven now raiders up by 14 now raiders up by 21 Oh my goodness, the Raiders are running with it, and they're gonna take it. Bobby Wagner is the highest overall, and uh, that is a position of need for the Raiders, so let's do that. You know, I remember the Seahawks doing pretty well in our last one, so it's just a little unfortunate, but, you know, it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Hey, there you go. Our map's looking pretty filled out. Let's see who the next to attack is gonna be. It's gonna be back to the Raiders. Which way are the Raiders going? They're gonna go north. They can't really go north, so we'll have them play the Broncos, because that, if you go, like, from here, is basically north. It's the Broncos. Uh, I kind of got a feeling about the Raiders in this one. But now that I said that, the Broncos are definitely going to win. So, congrats to the Broncos. Maybe I'll just ship Bobby Wagner straight to Denver, and uh, we'll call it a day. And the Broncos got an 11-point lead. Ooh, the Raiders surging back. 
this is their chance and they fumbled it. Oh well, tough break. Nice having you guys. Okay, I was just kidding. Obviously, Devontae Adams is going to be a Bronco here. Big chunk of land for the uh, good old Denver Broncos here, although I must have missed a whole piece of the puzzle. Let's uh, clean up our border and uh, this random eye patch that's sticking out. And the Broncos have a lot of the United States here. We're down to 12. 20 teams are gone. Who will be next? The Saints get in their first action. Which way are they going? They're going west. They're facing the Cowboys. Let's do it. All right, let's see who's going to win this matchup. I'm going to predict the Cowboys, and my predictions have been awful today. So let's go ahead and lock in the Saints here. Uh, although the Cowboys have a 10-point lead at half, can they hold on to it? They made a goal line stand, it appears, but they let him drive right back down the field, and they do score a touchdown, and they're gonna run out the clock. The Cowboys win it. Let's give the uh, Cowboys the honey badger here. Let's see what they could do with him. The Cowboys get to fill in this little tiny... Actually, you know what? This is this land's ginormous. I would actually say this is this is more than enough land. I don't even know why I started to say that this is a little bit. Like, this is definitely... I mean, anything more is just too much, honestly. It's kind of sad how many teams are left. Like, this board just looks like it has nobody on it. Are the Giants... No, it's gonna be the Jaguars! Which way are the Jaguars gonna go? They're gonna go northeast. They're gonna take on the Carolina Panthers making their first appearance. All right, let's see if Tyreek Hill can do something in his Jaguars debut. Like, get them a win, maybe. Uh, they missed an extra point, and he didn't catch that one, so not much is the answer. Uh, will the Jaguars get a win, though? Oh, they actually go down in the fourth quarter for the first time today. They kick a field goal, though. The Panthers respond! The Panthers are gonna win! Do you believe it? And obviously our boy Tyree Kill's getting shipped to Carolina. In their debut game are gonna get a lot of land here. Not really doing much, so, uh... You know, I guess that's just the way imperialism goes sometimes. We are down to our final 10 contestants who will be up. It'll be the Carolina Panthers. Which way will the Panthers attack? They're going back southwest. I think we're going to call that the Cowboys. We're getting the Cowboys and Panthers. All right, let's see who is going to take over almost all of South slash Southeast America. The Cowboys are taking a seven point lead now tied at half. The Panthers are going to respond. They're going to put up seven. The Cowboys put up seven over there. And the Panthers put up seven of their own. And they're going to make a stop. And the Panthers are going to win the bowl game. Oh, my goodness. We're going to send the Panthers a member of the 99 club. There you go. Texas now belongs to Carolina. Not a good look. I bet the uh, Texas uh, citizens are not very thrilled right now. But... You know, what can you do about it? I also filled in some of the boring states over here in case you guys are wondering why everything's filled out. We got the final nine. Let's see who's up to attack next. It's gonna be the Tennessee Titans. Which way will the Titans be going? They're going northeast, which means the last remaining team. Oh no, the Jets haven't played either, but the Titans are gonna take on the Commanders. All right, Washington and Tennessee making their debut. They made it all the way to final nine without playing a single game, and they're, they're out to an early lead, a bigger lead, 17 to zero, 24 to zero. The Titans are not messing around. They came to play. They are showing they belong in the final nine, 34 to zero. Oh my goodness, Tennessee just whooped them. The commanders are going to lose their new asset, TJ Watt. Well, 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 welcome to the video, Tennessee Titans. It took you guys long enough, but you made your presence felt in that game. We are down to the Elite Eight, and we are going to start with the Buffalo Bills. Which way will the Bills be going? South. That means they're going to take on the new Tennessee Titans. I'm going to stop making predictions because they haven't at, at all gone well for me this video. But the Titans take an early lead. The Bills are now just going to smoke them because that's just how uh, just how the, the teams of the cover athletes do in these games. The CTE's kicking in, guys. It's been a long time. Uh, yeah, the Bills didn't make this game close. That was rude. We're going to go ahead and send the Bills Derrick Henry here. I like that pick. Well, Tennessee, it's been real and it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. Uh, you guys were kind of entertaining for a bit, but, uh, you know, just a quick flash in the pan, that's all. Down to seven. Who's it gonna be? The Arizona Cardinals. Which way are the Cardinals going? 
They're going east. I'm not sure they had any other option. Well, if we're going down east, they're taking on the Panthers already. And this is literally for the entire south of the United States. All right, Panthers and Cardinals. The battle of the future first overall pick and the last year first overall pick. Uh, but the Cardinals are off to an early lead. The Panthers are going to answer. The Cardinals are going to answer back. And the Cardinals are going to take a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter. But here come the Panthers storming back. Cardinals got one last drive. The Panthers got one last drive. I didn't even see if they got it. They did it. The Cardinals win it. Might as well keep passing along Tyree Kill, huh? All right, time to watch as we take away the Southern United States from the Carolina Panthers. And the team of the South becomes the Arizona Cardinals. Now there's just six teams remaining. Some interesting storylines here. We do want to see Burroughs Colts succeed, although I'm loving the Cardinals' future first overall picks actually becoming the winners of Imperialism. And I'm also interested to see how far the Jets could go without playing a single football game. I'm not even going to lie. As long as the wheel doesn't land on the Jets, they're never playing a football game. Oh my gosh, this could be it. Wow, the Colts just barely. <laughs> Which way are the Colts going to go? Oh, they're going west. The long-anticipated Colts and Broncos matchup. I think I'm inclined to cheer for the Colts here just because of the Burrow Jefferson. And wow, they're just making light work of uh, the Broncos. And they're going to add Devontae Adams too. What a lineup the Colts are going to have. They're the team to beat. Wow. <laughs> This was a just a blowout. You know, as fun as it would have been to throw Devontae Adams on this team, I think we got to think smart for the Colts and give him a defensive player. Does the Colts take over half of the United States? <laughs> that literally is just land that the Colts, uh, I mean, that the Broncos happen to have. And there you have it. Should we color that in? We shall. We're down to five teams. All right, a 20% chance the miracle run comes to an end for the Jets, but it's not going to be yet. Although if we land on Giants, there's a chance Cardinals. Oh wow, the Jets lucked out. Can you believe this run that we're witnessing? This is literally the most exciting thing that's happening. Cardinals and Bills. Let's see if the Cardinals could pull off the huge upset. Can Aaron Donald and Tyreek Hill lead the upset for the Cardinals? It looks like they can, although Derrick Henry looks unstoppable for the Bills. And yeah, the Bills are definitely gonna run away with this one. <laughs> that's unfortunate. That was really sad. I was having a good time watching the Cardinals win. Wow, the Bills are just making a statement here. You know, I honestly didn't know whether to give him Aaron Donald or Tyreek Hill, uh, but I got excited about the thought of an Aaron Donald and Von Miller defensive duo for the Bills. You know what I just noticed? All of the New York teams are in the final four and we're getting the Colts too, which means the Jets are going to continue their run. Oh my gosh, which way are the Colts going? I only think they can get the Bills. So uh, let's just pretend this arrow is going to land east. Ready? Wow, what do you know? The Bill. All right, this is basically the Super Bowl, right? Like this is Burrow and the Colts against the front seven of Aaron Donald and Von Miller. And yeah, Buffalo's running away with this. That's just really sad. I really, I really wanted the Colts to win, but you know, the cover athlete curse is too much. Okay, I guess the Bills get Justin Jefferson. <sighs> and let's all take a moment of silence here for uh, the loss of America's team. I will remember you. <laughs> Is this the state of our map right now? It's literally the three New York teams that survived until the end. You cannot write this, bro. And of course, the final three that everyone suspected. And the Jets are gonna escape again. If the Giants point anywhere but down, the Jets survive until the championship game. Well, okay, well, we're not gonna count that. It has to be left or down. We're looking for left or down. Oh my gosh, that's, <laughs> I guess going off that arrow, it it's, it's the Bills, I don't, okay, <laughs> right here, oh, it's Bills for sure, are you kidding me? <laughs> Listen, I need one of you nerds in the comments to tell me the odds of the Jets not getting picked the entire video, because that's crazy, anyway. <laughs> 
Our semifinal game is off underway. The Bills are up by three. The Giants are going to take a lead by four. Bills come back for three, but the Giants go right down the field. They're going to be up by one. Here come the Bills streaking at the end, and they don't score. Are you kidding me? The Giants <laughs> upset the Bills. Wow, you cannot write a better ending than this. I can't believe this team lost. I'm kind of inclined to give him Josh Allen just to keep it exciting because I think that that's going to be the Giants' weakest point as their quarterback. Let's do it. Let's send Josh Allen to the Giants. Shall we look at the championship rosters here? We got Josh Allen and Matthew Judon. And for the Jets, we have the Jets. <laughs> America is going to look like leading up to the uh, championship game here. The Giants literally played two games and the Jets played zero. You know, I guess that's all fair game because that's just how imperialism goes sometimes. You know, winner takes all. Wow. All right, and if the Jets win, they have this little tiny land and they get all of America. <laughs> Who will win imperialism? Will it be the Giants or will it be the Jets? Oh, the Giants are smoking them. Oh, the Jets making a comeback though? Here they come. Giants taking a two touchdown lead. They're gonna take a 17 point lead at half now 20. Now they're up by 14, now 17. The Jets are just not gonna have what it takes to beat the Giants. The Giants are the imperialism champions. Can you believe it? It is official. The New York football Giants have won NFL Imperialism Madden 24. And there you have it, the Imperialism Champions. Make sure you guys subscribe for more Madden and football content. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.